what's in this bag. In fact, that's probably the reason that you clicked on this video. Well, let me put it down and show you. Hey everybody, and welcome to this video that hopefully will help you in trying to figure out what you need to bring to the range on rifle day. This is for people who are brand new and just bought their first rifle and want to take it to the range. And this is also for people who have been doing it a while and might just want to spice things up. First, we'll start with the bag. This is a 511 Tactical M4 20 liter bag. I've got a full review on this comparing it to another bag. If you want to check that out, that's on your favorite Libertarian's YouTube channel. Check that out, subscribe, click the notification bell, do all the things, and thank you. We're going to start with this being completely empty and actually pack it so you can see how I pack up the bag and uh, give you a little bit more of a view to the internals of the bag. Here we have some molly and some felt type material and then we also have an inner compartment right here we'll start with the inner compartment and then fill the rest of the bag up first off i have all these ziploc bags this first one's got uh, some, some different batteries for different optics and lights that i use and then i also have a little holder for CR123A batteries in here if i need to bring any of those or any other type of batteries i've got this bag i also have a bunch of different tools that will allow me to loosen, tighten, change out anything that I have mounted to any of my weapons, as well as a quarter, which is great for 12 gauge choke tubes if you need to remove those and need a tool. That fits really well. I also have this A2 front sight adjustment tool that I still need to give back to Jake. Every time I put this in my bag, I forget that I have it in here. And the last thing that goes in that compartment is this notebook. This has notes from all the different classes that I've taken through MDFI and other schools. Still plenty of room here, still a lot more to learn. We'll put this in here as well. Now for this compartment, we've got some targets. These are all targets that you can download the PDF on, print them out and save a ton of money on targets. First one is the MDFI qualification target. We have the target itself that you shoot at, and then we have all of the qualifications for the different disciplines on the back. Pretty handy, I would definitely check this out. Try these out, get better. Then we have a 50 yard zeroing target that you put out at 10 yards. This just gives you a rough idea. You wanna actually verify at 50 and 200 yards if that's the zero that you're working on. But uh, these are great. I actually used these in the previous video, so check that out as well. Everything's nice and organized in my manila folders. Binoculars. These are some cheapo binoculars. I don't think they're actually 20 by 50. This is all uh, marketing fluff. These help a little if you're trying to see a little bit further out and you're just shooting with a red dot. You want to see how you're doing at distance without having to walk down all the way to where your target is at an outdoor range because you'll have to probably have a ceasefire for that to happen. Just save some time if you don't have a spotting scope where you're shooting already. And of course, you can't go to the range without your IFAC. You never know who you're shooting to the left or to the right of, and you don't know what their skill level is. They might have an accident, they might need help. They might have an accident which somehow involves you and you might need some help. So we've got a tourniquet right here. We have the T-Rex Arms tourniquet holder, Sharpie to mark what time we've applied this tourniquet. We also have a bunch of stuff in here for big and small ouchies. Got our blood type on there. And then this is Velcro on the back. So this just slaps right on and it stays nice and secure. I also have a Velcro portion on my backpack that I use for the handgun stuff. And this goes with me. Now let's get into this section right here. First, we'll start with the iPro. Kind of important to have eye protection and ear protection when you're shooting. These are Smith & Wesson shooting glasses. I believe these are about eight or nine bucks. You can get them on Amazon or at Bass Pro. And these just go in this front compartment so that they are easy access. Next, I like to stay organized. So this battery holder that I showed you in that other bag is what I'm using to hold a pen, a Sharpie to mark things, Burt's Bees, not a paid sponsor of the channel. I wish they were. And some ear protection. These are just in-ear protection. When I'm shooting outdoors, I typically will just have these in. 
when I'm indoors, I'll have my Howard lights. And then a microfiber cloth, because you never know when you're going to need that. You get a million of them in everything you buy, so you might as well put it in there. Now for the main compartment, what everybody really cares about, we have some room for some mags, a third round mag here loaded up, and also a shorter 20 round smoke, translucent smoke mag, because I, you know, doing a little subtle flex with this Lancer mag here. These go in the bottom of this main compartment. And then this is what goes in the rest of the room. This is my Air Precision 10.5 inch A2 build full playlist and series on the channel. If you want to know everything about this setup, it's all in there. I actually just did a range video testing out this barrel, this mount and optics setup, and the mags coupled here as well, because I've got a Magpul coupler on this set of PMAGs. That was all tested out. Everything went great, but if you want to know how accuracy was and the different distances I shot, check out that video. That's a great video. I highly recommend it. <laughs> so this will just go in here and plenty of room. I actually have the brace all the way extended and I can still fit it all in here. So that's super cool. And now we're good to go, except for one more thing. These are shoot and see targets. These are great if you're shooting at further distances. I use these when I'm shooting out to 200 yards usually because it's a lot easier to see with a spotting scope where my hits are and I don't have to walk 200 yards downrange after a ceasefire just to check where I'm hitting. You can get these on Amazon as well. Well, that's what I keep in my rifle bag. It's weird. Is it a pistol? Is it a rifle? Who cares what length the barrel is? Nobody, unless we're talking about terminal ballistics. Am I right? Either way, thanks for watching my video. If you'd like to thank me for creating the video, a big way that you can do that is by shopping with the affiliate links in the description below. I will have specific affiliate links for Air Precision, Magpul, and Ballistic Advantage, as those are all things that you have seen in this video, and you can quickly get to them. Shopping with those really helps me out and helps grow the channel. Also, if you click on that Linktree link, that takes you to those links and all of my other affiliate links and discount codes. Again, Thanks in advance for shopping with those. If you're buying that stuff anyway, it really helps me out. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching. Stay free and God bless. See you later.